Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, today I just want to wish people a happy Halloween. Um, I was surprised you know, when I hopped on YouTube today. Uh, so many of the people that I follow were doing some some sort of Halloween-y video. I wanted to just do something in the, the spirit of the season. So, um, for starters, I guess I'd like to simply lament the fact that if I had my druthers, I would be doing a Resident Evil marathon. Um, this is something I did a handful of years ago. Uh, I actually turned it into a, a benefit for my friend whose apartment building had burned down. And thankfully nobody was hurt, but they lost all their stuff, and, you know, several people were out of a home. And um, I started a, a URL, it's um, residentaid.org, and, um, you know, I streamed it on Ustream. I actually took four days, and I just played through as many of the canonical Resident Evil games as I could. And I actually got through most of them. I skipped four and went on to five. But um, it was pretty intense, and um, we all just had a really good time. You know, thank you for anybody that donated to that. Um, some of those people, like, they're, they're subscribed to, to this channel. Um, you know, I'm friends with them on PSN, stuff like that. It was... Um, it was a pretty fun time, and I've, tr I've tried to do it since then. I've um, played through, I think the last time it was Resident Evil 4 and, and Code Veronica, the HD versions. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to do that this year, but I just wanted to highlight a couple of videos that I've done in the past that, um, that are related to you know horror kind of games you guys might like to check out around this time of year. Um, the first one is Imabiki So. Uh, on the PlayStation 3. Um, this is a really cool uh, like visual novel. They call it a sound novel, but I, I like visual novel because I think it is more descriptive of what this actually is. Uh, and especially having just played Beyond Two Souls, um, you know, kind of mentioning a, another visual novel style of game, I think is, um, you know, is, is topical. Um, this is by Chunsoft, uh, published by Sega. And uh, it's a pretty pretty nifty little uh, Japanese horror game. Uh, this, I believe, came out on the Wii as well, um, so you can you know, get this on multiple systems. But um, you know, check out my review. I've uh, put a link to it up here uh, if you want to know more. Um, additionally, before I've talked about one of my favorite favorite games, uh, just in general, on the Dreamcast is Illbleed. Um, the short description is that this is a theme park where um, the the trick is, the gimmick is to get out alive. So this is literally a theme park where it's trying to kill you. And um, it's so goofy, so B-movie, so tongue-in-cheek. Um, this really is a game, it's like a cult classic, you know, in the same way that movies are, where, you know, if, if a movie was really, you know, good and just extremely well-crafted, it would just be a blockbuster hit. But you know, if there are enough flaws that hold it back that it just, it, you know, it's not mainstream popular, but it has some kind of hook or really interesting thing that really raises it above the the, the norm, um, you know, it gets this cult following. That's that's what Illbleed is like. Um, just a really unique game, and I'll, I'll post a link here. I talk about it in a quick um, video so you guys can hear more about it. And if those two games that I showed off are not obscure enough, I wanted to find something that uh, I don't think anybody else is talking about this this Halloween, uh, I would almost guarantee. Um, this is probably the game I would be capturing footage from and maybe just giving you my initial impressions of if I had any more time tonight, which I don't. Um, but it's this one here, the Ren'ai Horror Adventure uh, on the PlayStation 2. This is part of the Simple 2000 series brought to us by our favorite D3 publisher, and uh, Siesta, who uh, I'd never heard of before. Um, a quick internet search um, revealed like a small handful of games attributed to them. So no idea uh, how good that is, but it looks like it's, it's right up my alley. So I'm definitely going to check that out sometime. Maybe that'll have to be next Halloween. But uh, anyway, um, I hope that you guys take a moment to check out my other videos. And I um, just wanted to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Hope you guys have a, a safe, uh, fun time. And I uh, hope you'll join me again next time for some more Japanese video game related videos.